And I, I tried to get one of them to do it or to uh, see what they could do to get this bitch from my stuff. Because I couldn't get that from my stuff whatsoever. So, the dude was like, he called his boss. He said, hey, man, my boss said that ain't none of our business or none of our concerns. So, I was like, shit, say that. So, boom. Yo, say, youngie. Back at it again with another YouTube video. Yes, as I can see by the title, I'm gonna just show y'all. And I'm still, I'm currently still on the phone because my mama, my mama's caught up with these videos, bro. I know y'all see these videos just, just coming back to back like that. Yeah, I'm getting caught up with these videos so I can be able to code on my GoPro, my camera again. But quick little update why I'm getting these videos caught up. You know what I'm saying? Your boy hat on. So, so it took them, it took them three tries to get, to get this trailer lifted up. Cause the landing gear, this landing gear right here, that bit was stuck. But I, your boy couldn't, I could if he would lift it up, and then I crank it. But your boy had to get him to crank it up. So the first time they picked it up, dropped it down. It might be a little windy too. But they picked it up, dropped it down, and that bitch got stuck in. So they came, did it again. And that third time, when he did it, he lit that bitch too high. And that bitch went all the way back. And then boom. So when that bitch went all the way back, y'all know how the kingpin go over the, the fifth one. So that's what he did. And then he had a hit. Hold on. Yeah. See that little piece right up? That piece had a came off. So I'm like, whoa! That bitch right here. That be had on, it came off right now. So, you know. And I, I tried to get one of them to do it. Or to uh, see what they could do to get this bitch from my stuff. Because I couldn't get that from my stuff whatsoever. So, the dude was like, he called his boss. He said, hey man, my boss said that ain't none of our business. Or none of our concerns. So I'm like, shit, say that. So, boom. Called it. Reported it to Road Assist. Bro, they were definitely finna get somebody out here. But then another dude came. Bro, like, man, no, nah, that man young. I ain't finna let him, you feel me? Nah, so get what he do. He insisted, he did. He took a big ass rent, right? He took a big ass rent. He just stuck his hand up under it. And when he stuck his hand up under it, he just told me to pull up. And when I pulled up the truck, did just like this. I'm like, hold on, bro. What the, what did he just do because Whatever he just did, I want to learn how to do that for, you know, something like that take place again, God forbid, you know what I'm saying? But whatever he did, he just took a wrench and he did something up under here and he just told me to pull forward. And when I pulled forward, the truck just went straight ahead. And I'm like, hold on. So I was on, I took pictures of updated the road scenes. When I updated the road since, and then he said, okay, so it's just that plastic feet that messed up? He asked me, was the trailer, was the reefer messed up? I'm like, nah, ain't nothing wrong with the reefer. He's like, was the landing gear messed up? I'm like, nope, excuse me. He was like, I was like, nope, ain't nothing wrong with the, the landing gear. The trailer's fine, the reefer's fine, but that damage on that passenger side is still done. So like, oh, we can just get that in here to the, the, the Bay Area and get that get that into the prime yard and get that taken care of. So he was like, oh, I'm like, oh man, I thought somebody called me. He's like, man, I thought it was something with the fifth wheel. I mean, not the fifth wheel. He said, oh, man, well, I thought you did something to the landing gear. I'm like, nah, the landing gear is fine. It's wood, wood. So I updated the pictures, showed them that, okay, I'm hooked up to the trailer. The landing gear is raised up. The, everything is hooked up. I got my airline. The, you know, the lock is on there. I'm finna get ready to do this. Uh, it's live the car. So now that the dude came and did everything, I'm like, so I was talking to Road I was like, hold on, before we get out the phone, can I ask you a quick question? She's like, yeah, sure, go ahead. I was like, whatever he just did, why they didn't teach us this in um in school? Because I could have did that myself. He's like, hey, hey man, I don't know what he did, man. It's you. I did, he's still out there? You want to go? I'm like, no, nah, that man just, he was an older cat, so he just did what he did. I, he ain't even let me tell him thank you or nothing. He just did what he did and just drove off. I'm like, hey, damn. But hey, I'm 
thankful and grateful and gratitude for every single thing. You know what I'm saying? Everything happened for a reason. You know what I'm saying? This this time delay happened for a reason. Because it probably was something down the road that God didn't want me to. You feel me? So I ain't tripping on nothing. So everything take place for a reason. But this trailer hooked up. And I and so wrote this. Let's do it. Right walk. But it's 85 fucking degrees. This man got face. Everything going. Man got pins. Long sleeve. What he's doing, that man. But um, everything's fine. Rodas gave me the go ahead. So okay, just call your fleet manager, let them know that it's just that piece, and you good to go to the head to the ninety. Got on the phone, with the fleet manager. I don't know what it is, with my fleet manager, bro. Bridget, Bridget, you know how you in school, bro? Everybody, they tell you walk. Everybody in a straight line. Everybody doing what they doing. Everybody going to class. And you just had that one kid. That wink. That's him, bro. Like, so he's like, um, okay, but Rodas didn't call me to let me know that you're good and you're okay to roll. So you have to sit there and wait. I'm like, he gave me the, oh, shit. I'm like, I'm just like, he just gave me the go ahead to, to go. He's like, yeah, but you got to wait, man. I got to see the, the text message of him saying it's good for you to get ahead on the road. I'm like, all right, man. So I'm basically sitting here waiting on him. I ain't even cranked the truck up because I actually enjoy sweating because it made me feel like I'm here for him and so tight shit. But yeah, that was that little update. And now we I, we probably finna head right back to Springfield to get to get that um piece fixed. So yeah, I just want to update y'all on that. And yeah. And see where we go from there. So stay tuned if you like this video, if you like this little prep talk. And if y'all, if y'all wondering what he did, if y'all got any ideas on what he could have did, and I'm gonna take it only took him like 10 seconds to do that. He just stuck his hand in up, did something, and told me to pull for him. So whatever y'all think he did, y'all bro, leave it in the comment section because I ain't no way. Cause whatever he did, I wanna learn how to do that. Shit, cause that shit was fine. Bro just said, I'm like. I'm like, boy, I ain't no way. I'm on, you feel me? I'm on, you More of the story, man. Hey, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment down below your favorite part of the video, and leave your ideas in the comments and show what y'all think you did. So it's your boy, D. And I'll see y'all in the next video, man. Yeah.